Hi there, welcome to Smart Figures. In this video, I'm going to introduce the Smart Figure concept and explain how we see them working within the greater context of the textbook. First off, let me introduce myself. My name is Callan Bentley, and I'm the guy who made the Smart Figures. I teach geology at Northern Virginia Community College, and I'm really excited to be part of this project. We've got about 125 Smart Figures scattered throughout the textbook, and you'll see that they have simple animations associated with them. For instance, in this animation right here, you can see that my mouth is moving as I'm talking to you. It's not very complex, but it sort of conveys uh, an idea, and that's how the animations are going to be set up in the Smart Figures too. Pretty basic stuff, but it's stuff that makes the figures come alive. So throughout the textbook, you're going to see these little QR codes, and these QR codes are basically a device that allows you to very quickly access video content. What you'll have to do is scan the QR code with a QR code reader, and a QR code reader is an app that is available on your smartphone, if you have a smartphone. So whether it's a Blackberry or an Android or an iPhone or an iPad, uh, any of those sorts of devices, you can download one of these apps, and most of them are free. And then what you can do is, once you've got the app on your phone or your other device, you basically aim it at that QR code. And it's pretty magical the way this works, but it instantly locks onto that QR code, and that QR code directs your device to a video, which is out there on the internet. So once the QR code is recognized, the phone says, okay, let's go to this video and play it. Once the video pops up, you're going to see these simple animations begin, and you're going to hear my voice discussing what's going on. So in this example here, we've got a subduction zone and the development of a continental volcanic arc, so you'd hear me explaining that. Now, not everybody has a smartphone, of course, so there are other ways to access the same material. One way to get there is through mastering geology. So a lot of professors will assign mastering to their students, and there the smart figures have assessments built around them. So uh, a professor could assign some of those smart figures to their students, and then the students would watch the videos and then basically complete some assessments, and then that feedback, of course, goes straight to the professor. Another way to access them is through the e-text version of the textbook, and uh, whether you're using Earth or Foundations of Earth Science, uh, this e-text will have the smart figures live linked from the pages of the e-text. So the basic format for the videos is that I announce a learning objective at the beginning, then I go on to explain the concept with a series of images and simple animations, and at the end we have a small self-assessment. So this is a simple question the students can ask themselves then and there to see if they get it. So overall, I think that this is going to be a great addition to the textbook. These are you know, bite-sized miniature lectures, you could think of them that way. And I think they're really going to enhance the content of the textbook, which is already so great. But uh, basically, it ties it together in a new way, which is sort of aimed at the modern student with a relatively short attention span, perhaps, and, and short amounts of time to devote to their studies. So I hope you enjoy them, and uh, thanks a lot for your attention. Um, this has been the very first Smart Figure.